What up, my poker peeps? It's the Hatter. In this hand, I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. I'm usually used to, back in the day, I wanted to play nine-handed because I was a nit, and I didn't want the blinds to come to me and blind me down because I was playing so tight of a range. But then I started to improve my game, and then I really liked seven and six-handed. But when it gets to heads up or four or less players, I'm just not really comfortable. I make a lot of mistakes. I just, I, I don't... It ain't even about mistakes as much as I just, I'm understudied in it. So keep that in mind as we go through this hand. I'm pretty much in no man's land here when it comes to shorthanded. I definitely need to improve here. So with all that being said, we're playing one, two. It's three-handed. And in a way, it's sort of like heads up. Because as you can see, the button's starting the hand with only 33. I'm starting with 166. And the main villain, he's actually starting with 225. So as you can see, I'm in the small blind with Jack 10 of hearts. And the button is going to go ahead and raise the four. I'm going to go ahead and just call out the small blind, which I believe is a mistake right off the rip. I should definitely probably go ahead and raise if I'm going to. But for whatever reason, I go ahead and limp in. I guess in, in the moment, I'm thinking that if I raise, if the button has a really big hand, they're going to shove over me. And then I'm going to call off with Jack 10 of hearts, which, I mean, if I'm going to call, I need to just go ahead and have a plan. So this was kind of a, Kind of a mistake. Then the big blind decides to go ahead and raise it up to 16. Now I'm hating life even more because I've limped in and now I've committed some money and here we go. So surprisingly, the button's gonna go ahead and call pretty much half their stack pre-flop. So now I'm getting a better price with my Jack 10 of hearts. Everybody loves Jack 10 suited. I love it too, y'all. There ain't no reason to tell no lies. So I go ahead and call and now we come to a flop of six of hearts, four of spades, ace of spades. With 48 in the pot, I mean, pretty much I whiffed this. I mean, we got a couple of back doors, but this is just not a good board. And at this point, I'm expecting everybody to go crazy, me get out of the hand. But this is where things change a little bit. I check, of course, and the pre-flop three better. He decides to just bet five, five into 48. This like throws me for such a loop. Like, is he scared of the ace? I mean, it just doesn't make sense. Maybe he's trying to price himself into a draw. I, I don't know. It's so crazy. And then the button just folds. So so now I'm really confused. I mean, at this at this point I'm just I'm 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 really confused y'all about what 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 is going on. But there's no way that I'm not going to throw five out there and try to get some kind of backdoor equity. Also, maybe if a spade comes off, I can run a bluff here. I mean, the the just the small bet threw me for such a loop. So anyways, I go ahead and call. We go to the turn of a two of hearts. I would have rather, you know, a face card heart, but I mean, it is what it is. So now I got the back door hearts coming in and I'm going to go ahead and check. And now the villain decides to bet two thirds. And at this point, I'm real. I mean, I I'm guessing now he has an ace and he was just trying to feel maybe is what I'm guessing. But this is kind of weird that he ramped up the betting from such a like 10% pot all the way up to two thirds. So I think about it, think about it. And at this point, my plan is this, y'all. If a spade hits the river, I'm all in. If a heart hits the river, I'm all in. If it bricks out, I might still all be all in, y'all. But I'm really hoping a heart comes off, if not a spade, and I'm going to run a bluff because I'm just so confused by what this dude has done. So I go ahead and call, and bang, there it is. Eight of hearts on the river. All right. So like I said, I was going to represent that I was chasing the flush the whole way at this point. So I go ahead and rip it in and he goes deep into the tank. And finally he eventually calls and he shows up with pocket aces. So he let me pretty much float the flop for free. Pretty much. I mean, five's almost like a check. I turn the equity with the hearts. I do call a two thirds bet. Y'all tell me if that was a good call. Cause I did have a plan of bluffing, but wow. He had the ace of hearts blocking the heart flush, so I can see why he called. But a monster part pot here. Y'all give me y'all's thoughts on how I played the whole hand. And if you have any advice for playing shorthanded, please let me know. See y'all tomorrow. Had her out. Gotta find my